a faint creaking sounds in the distance. Is that a tree? What's hanging from? Hmm, the destination pyramid doesn't answer the call. Is something blocking it? Must be a way across. Ralik, the gods, are they dead? How can this be? Ever tightening cursed branches constrict the great dwarven god Duna. His eyelids flutter and his face bluish and bloated nods. Tight coils wrap Tyr Sendelius from head to foot. His still face is set to a glowering sneer. 
cursed tendrils tighten around Zolstissa. Her lips are moving, but no words seem able to escape her lips. Before you hangs a great ethereal orc, his face twisted in a knot of pain as cursed tendrils constrict him. A small, stout imp winces under the countless cursed threads that bind her. The cursed tendrils slacken. Zolstissa inhales deeply, air wheezing in her throat. My one. My one. The cursed ten My one. Be gone, be gone from here. Mm, where is my champion? Be gone. Be gone from me. Thank you, my child. Ralik hangs limp, his helmet. Hurry! As the cursed branches slither away from Ralik, he raises. Are we the first? The others, do they hang still upon the tree? He strains at the ethereal ropes that bind him, resisting their grip. You must make haste! I am bound, but not defeated. Not yet. This is not the work of fate. It is the work of the Void. It will come for our people. It will destroy us all. You are my chosen. Now you must become the champion of our kind. The champion of humanity. I have survived our enemies. You must do more than that. You cannot comprehend what it is, but you know full well what it wants. The Void will not stop until it has devoured us all. It thinks it has defeated me, defeated all the gods. But it underestimates human might. Your might. His eyes flash bright green. He struggles against his binds, to no avail. You will show it. You will show them all. You have already unleashed some of the powers locked within you. But there is a great well of possibility still untapped. You cannot stop until you ascend to the highest heights of your power. You cannot stop until you become divine. He opens his mouth to respond, but stops and tilts his head, listening for something you cannot detect. I hear the void. I hear it calling. 
I hear it laughing. It, it's coming. It's here. If it finds you here, if it finds you. Ralik's face twists in fear. He opens his mouth as if to scream, but no sound comes out. White hot cold pierces your heart like a blade. You are frozen to the spot. The burning cold pumps through you like a curse, and then... What's happened? The same troubled look is visible on each face. You've seen the gods beaten and defiled, strung up as a warning. I had dreams of what I should say if I saw the Seven Lords once more. But that... that was a nightmare. The Void has been pushed back before by the power of mortals. The gods couldn't handle it. But maybe we can. The gods are dead. Long live the Godwoken. If the Seven should indeed come to nothing, I'll be ready to take their place.
I cannot bear you away from here. You must find other means so that we can leave. The one who brought us here. The demon that wears the face of my kin. Only she can set the course back to the land of the living. She is here still. I can feel her. Death washed over me as we entered this place. I felt many lives extinguish in a single moment. But others still draw breath. They are sheltering below decks. Where is everybody? Hidden away somewhere, safe from the storm. I hope not a soul down here. Just stillness. Where have you been? I can't keep this up much longer. We need to go. Seekers dead, Alexander missing, Godwoken passengers deceased. And unless you want to die too, we need to go. Now. There's no time. I can't hold us here. Brace yourself. This might hurt. A lot. <laughs> The chill of the Hall of Echoes clung to the Lady Vengeance as it returned to the shores of Reaper's Coast. The Godwoken were alive, but what of the gods? Solid ground materializes beneath your feet. Your weight falls back into your body all at once, and bright sunlight stings your eyes. As your eyes adjust, you realize you're still aboard the Lady Vengeance. A gust of fresh sea air caresses you, and warm sunshine prickles your skin. <coughs> One moment, please. <coughs> Malady explodes in a fit of retching that racks her body. At last, she sneezes and expels a glob of something shiny and silver onto the deck. It wriggles quickly off the siding and plummets into the sea with a splash. Ah, better. Let's not do that again anytime soon, hmm? Well, we needed to escape, didn't we? So I took us the one place I was quite certain Dallas couldn't follow. I suppose you recognized the Hall of Echoes from those visions you'd had before. Realm of the Dead, Realm of Divinity. <laughs> I do hope you learned something useful on our little field trip. Desperate how? I see. So, your god seemed uncharacteristically frightened, told you the Void was coming, and that only you could ascend to Divinity, after which you felt a cold deep within you. Well then, it sounds like you need to ascend, doesn't it? 
and quickly. She inspects her fingernails with great attention, then looks up at you from under an arched eyebrow. Did they mention how you were meant to become the next divine? Oh, what confidence you inspire. Luckily for you, Mama Malady is here to help. We already know you can bless, but as far as I know, you can neither see source nor take it as you see fit. I may not know much about divinity, but I do know that any god woken worth their salt will know how to perform all these oh-so-fantastic feats. You need to go see the Meister. As have I, but not in the ways a true god woken can. Forget those ghastly little jars and wands to which small people must resort. You ought to be able to see and speak to the spirits that wander our realm. And you ought to be able to extract the source they leave behind, too. All this just by your little old onesie. No devices, no gimmicks. When you're done, you'll be able to amass and unleash quantities of source so great the Lucian himself would blush. I quite look forward to seeing it. Oh, she's got one of those things in Driftwood, you know, the building where people go and they do things inside of it. Um, a home, that's it. She's got a home in Driftwood. Give me your map. There you are. Tell her I sent you and she'll handle the rest. You're at the beginning of a long journey, Godwoken. Long, but exceedingly interesting. Now, I must be going, and so must you. Why, our faithful little sloop, of course. We can all ride together. Won't that be terribly fun? Shopping. Before you go, if I'm not back by the time you find out where our journey takes us next, you can call me back here. Tell the ship. She'll know how to summon me. And in the unlikely case you don't manage to do whatever it is you'll need to do to become what you need to become, you could call me. But I would be grateful if it doesn't come to that. I hadn't realized I was in such illustrious company when we met before. Most fascinating, the things I've been hearing about you.
You honor me with your repeated presence. Something on your mind? You must be one of those uniquely gifted sorcerers I keep hearing about. Such a lustrous company I find myself in. He extends. I am Tarquin.
You honor me with your repeated presence. Something on your mind? You honor me with your repeated presence. Something on your mind? You must be one of those he extends. I am Tarquin. Consider me at your service. 